Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm in New Orleans, and today I'm going to be sharing with you our experience with the rent-a-car, the airport, and with Southwest Airline. First off, the rent-a-car companies are not on the airport. You're going to need a shuttle to get back and forth. All of the rental car companies use the same shuttle and it was very fast and convenient. We didn't have a preference about which company to use, so I just went on booking.com and did a general search for the best price and I received budget. We did not use a rent a car to go to New Orleans, but we rented a car to go to Biloxi, Mississippi. We were visiting for about 11 days. We spent two nights in New Orleans. We took a seven night carnival cruise and spent three nights in Biloxi. All those videos will be coming out very soon. If you're new to renting a car, it's pretty simple. You just pull up, someone comes out, you take your bags out of the car. It's kind of like going to a valet. Just remember to leave the keys in the car. <laughs> if you take the keys, it's gonna be a problem. I believe everything with the tax, everything was about 189 for the three nights. Now we have to go find the shuttle that will bring us to the airport. If you are planning on renting a car when you get off a plane in New Orleans, you will be doing this in reverse. Renting a car to go to New Orleans for us was an easy no. We didn't want to pay for parking. There's a lot of traffic. We didn't know where we were going, so we just took a taxi. So if you're going to be getting off a plane and coming to rent a car, you would need to take the shuttle to come here and go to the appropriate company. The lines weren't too bad. This video was filmed in March 2024. It was a Thursday about 11 a.m. Some people choose to be very faithful to a car rental company or even an airline just for the benefits of being faithful and always using them. But I kind of just go with whatever's convenient and whatever's cheapest that day. When you travel as much as I do, you have to cut the corners somewhere. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jennifer Sparks and I travel all the time. My channel is mostly about resort tours, cruises, casinos, that kind of thing. But I have to travel to get there. So I figured, hey, while well, I'm doing it, I might as well make a video. And here's where you'll catch the shuttle that will take you to the airport terminal. The shuttles are more like buses and are very large and continuous. Lots of space and no stress about missing one because there'll be another one coming really shortly. There are luggage carts available should you need one. New Orleans International Airport, also known as MSY, has one main terminal and three concourses labeled A, B, and C. Departures and ticketing are on level three and there is a total of 35 gates. TSA security screening is on level two and arrivals and baggage claim is on level one. If you are flying internationally, you're going to have to visit Concourse A for customs. We are now in ticketing and departures. This is where you could get your luggage tags. You could get your boarding passes printed. It's not required for a boarding pass. You could also get the app of the airline that you're using. And you could use the boarding pass right on the app to get on the plane. That, of course, is a personal preference. Some people just like to have a ticket to hold. This is also where you'll be saying bye-bye to your big luggage that you do not want to bring on the plane. If you check your bags, you could also bring liquids and aerosols on the plane. You just cannot bring them on the plane with you. We decided to check our bags, even though they were small and we were able to bring them on the plane. It's just easier just getting around the airport without lugging them around. That again is totally a preference whether you bring them on the plane or not. But I highly recommend if you're planning on bringing your luggage on the plane, check the company's website for dimensions. Make sure the bag of your choice fits in those dimensions and is not oversized. Otherwise, you'll be hit with charges that you did not anticipate. They do not weigh the bags, at least in my experience going on planes. They do weigh the bags though, however, when you do check them. Now let's talk about this airport. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's so very easy to navigate. I honestly anticipated this to be so much larger and more confusing. It was very simple. If you're early, there's plenty of places to dine and to shop. Soaring ceilings and everything was very light and bright. We're gonna be flying today with Southwest. This is our first time flying with this airline, so we're really excited to see how it goes. I was originally looking at a JetBlue flight, but the flight was about six o'clock in the morning and I was like, nope, that's not gonna happen. I'll take the 12 o'clock with the different airline. We were thinking about getting some snacks to bring on the airplane, but Southwest gives you drinks and snacks. Alcoholic drinks are an extra charge. It was a little challenging walking. It was pretty crowded. Everybody's kind of lost. Nobody knows where they're going, including me. 
One thing I want to mention about Southwest, which was very new to me, is there is no prearranged seating. You pretty much get an assignment of when you get on the plane and you can sit anywhere you want. I thought that was pretty interesting and I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out. I usually use for airlines Breeze, Frontier, Spirit, JetBlue, and all of them will let you pay to pick your seat ahead of time. Otherwise, you get assigned a seat when you check in. This is the first time I'm pretty much going rogue without having a seat assignment at all. Okay, we found our gate. It was pretty much one of the last ones. So it was a long walk and we're a little tired. So I'm going to sit down, I'm going to charge my phone and get ready for our flight. Southwest does give you the opportunity to pay more to be the first group that is boarded. So if you do want a particular seat or you want to sit with a bunch of people, you have to pay per person to have this advantage to get on the plane first. We chose not to pay more. We really don't care where we sit. But it was funny because we were in two totally different boarding groups. I was ended up in the first boarding group at the end of it, and he ended up in the last one. So we were getting on the planes at different times, even though I purchased the tickets together. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, can you do me a favor and please hit that like button? It would really help the algorithm of my channel, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Like I said, I really don't care where I sit on the plane, but my preference, believe it or not, unlike most people, is the back. I like to sit in the back. I, I prefer the back seat, actually. I think I just like to see what's going on. This is going to be very simple for me because most people boarding first want to sit in the front. Maybe the logic to it is that they could get off of the plane first. The seats on this aircraft were three and three. The seats themselves were not really luxurious or anything, but they were fine. There are no TVs. There is internet, but you have to pay $8 per device. Here's a look at the free drinks that they provide. We're on our way very shortly. You can sit anywhere you like today. That's her, just in case you forgot. Come on back. Plenty of open space here. Just back the aircraft. Lots of empty rows here. We're looking to sit together. I did not choose to pay for the internet, but I did hook up to their website, and I was able to watch movies. There is no TV on the seat, like I said before, but I was able to watch it on my phone. The back filled up too. My husband found his seat and we are ready to take off. We are heading back to LaGuardia. If you are planning on taking this route in the future and you want to see what LaGuardia looks like, it's awesome guys. Great airport. I just published a video of our visit to LaGuardia. We took a JetBlue flight to New Orleans. I'll leave that video in a playlist at the end of this video labeled flights and airports if you want to check that out. The flight from New Orleans to New York was about three hours. I thoroughly enjoy the window seat. I am such a mad researcher. I am a big fan of Google Maps. That's what I study. Some people study the Bible. Some people read novels. I study Google Maps, so I just love to see all the places that I haven't been and what they look like from above. It was a very peaceful flight. Once we got to a high altitude, I ended up enjoying one of the movies they provided. I watched the Priscilla Presley movie and it made the time go by very fast. The flight attendants came around and asked if you wanted a drink. I got a coffee and then they just provided you snacks. They didn't even ask you if you wanted them. They just gave them to you. And just like that, we are in New York. New York City has three major airports, LaGuardia, which we are going to. JFK and Newark, which is actually in New Jersey, but it's pretty much on the line. There is also Westchester Airport, Newburgh, Albany, Buffalo, and many others that are in New York State. I personally live in Connecticut, so Bradley is the airport that I mostly use. But the flights to New Orleans were all connecting, and I just did not want to do that. So here we are going to New York, and it was a great experience. I really enjoyed it. When you try new things and go to new places, you broaden your mind and you're creating new memories. Plus, I haven't filmed LaGuardia or New Orleans, so this was a great opportunity for me to make a video. Okay, we're ready to land and we're still above water. It's getting a little scary, <laughs> but here we go. Here's the land. Come join me for the landing. Welcome to New York City. It was a little bumpy coming in. I did my best to keep this camera still. Oh, 
This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Now we're back at LaGuardia Airport. If you want to see more flights and airports, I'm going to leave some playlists right here for you. Just click on the playlist. It will take you right there. But whatever you do, if you're thinking about flying, do it. Just book that trip and go. Life is too short not to. Always be well to yourself and kind to others and safe travels to you.